When I was a young guy, I looked up to Joe Rocks. Oh, it's happened again! Rocco Falco! The fast Fijian winger that scored all the tries with the big dive. It's all over! Joe Rocco Falco! Something I tried to do at school. Yeah, I ended up winding myself. I went to Sacred Heart, attended there from year 7 to year 13. They go to Satutu again. He just wanders through, scores the try. Started off on the wing, just like that. He was outside back. This is a good run from Waisaki Satutu. He's looking at the goalpost side of it. He was in the first Blues team. I think he's Blues number 14. Satutu, he's not far from the goal line. He might go all the way. Finds a player inside. As I got older, I sort of appreciated the game a bit more. That's when I started to learn. Jerome Kano was a good role model. Kano! Dominated the game with his gameplay. Busting right through the middle. Jerome Kano is going to go all the way. My first couple of years out of school, I met him and learned a lot of him. He sort of just told me to trust in your skill set and just be you when you're on the field. For me as a number eight, I just want to have as many skills as I can. Look at this, great work, a 2-2. Two -two. I want to be good on the line out. I want to be the dominating tackle guy. Oh, good strong run from Satutu! I want to be the go for the ball for the back, because we've got those fast dudes on the outside, Rico and Mark and whatnot. Inside pass to Talia! Blues win it 30 to 20. Uh, it was pretty surreal. I've never really seen a full Eden Park for a Blues game, and to be a part of that team that got that was pretty amazing. Huge crowd. Most of them go home very happy. I think the closest to that would be the Auckland final in 2018. It wasn't 42,000, but probably felt like it. That season was a big learning season for me, first year in the Auckland team. That season really taught me about the camaraderie and how important it is to be a tight unit off the field as well as on it. I think that helps the, all the boys being close mates and feels like a close brotherhood at the moment. All the boys, they're not scared to have those conversations with each other. The key example is Bowden Barrett coming in. He's just put himself out there and all the boys got to know him and whatnot. He's a good dude, eh? he's just a good dude. He's a yarn with and he's always looking to help you out on the field. Satutu, Talia, and he goes! And for the first time since 2011, the Blues win in Hamilton and they extend their lead in Super Rugby Aotearoa. I think everyone that comes to the Blues, they want to be part of their team to change what's happened in the last couple of seasons. Right up through the middle, it's Hoskins Satutu! Coming into the season, had a little phrase blue everywhere. We wanted to make the city blue, get them back supporting us. We're starting to see the results at the moment. This year, we just try to keep on keeping on, keep uh, doing what we're doing, get better every week, get them on board and get them to believe in us again.